Welcome back to SolidWorks Live here in the 3D Experience Playground at 3D Experience World 2020. <laughs> this has been a long day. Uh, I'm joined here on stage with Monica Albjorn with James Avery, our uh, artisan jewelry. Monica, welcome. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you so much. So it's really interesting. I get the opportunity to meet people from all over the world right. here at 3D Experience World, whether they're partners, uh, vendors, uh, customers, and you were a customer. I actually got the opportunity to meet last night at the offsite event, and your enthusiasm for steam was <laughs> contagious. And I was like, we have to come here on SolidWorks Live and kind of talk about what you do. So, Monica, tell us a little bit about who you work for and what you do. Well, I work for a company uh, called James Savory. We do jewelry, but what's more passionate about is like, I'm a woman. <laughs> I think we are here to change the world. Like it's amazing how there are like a lot of guys, a lot of engineers, but we are we are women too. We are here to to inspire. We are here to change. And what I do is basically they ask me, "Are you a designer or I'm a jewelry? I'm I'm an engineer. Like I'm both. Like I'm yep. really both. I'm an industrial designer. I have a background in in design, in creating like creating a piece of art." Like yep. a piece of essence, creating like from an idea to to bring it to the world and then produce it like thousand times, ten thousand times, and still creating or still having like that same essence that essence that it was created for. Yeah, you were so you take this very artistic piece of content, and you told me you're responsible for a lot of the manufacturing involved with that, creating some of the tooling and things right. like that. I right, I work in product development, so basically we have. Uh, a team of designers that they create the idea and we have to find a way to mass produce it. Okay. So it's really, uh, you know, what I found interesting is you were telling me your story. You originally went to school for industrial design yep. and you found a passion for manufacturing engineering, right? Yep. And you're going back to school? Yep. I'm actually, um, like, uh, this year I, um, I became like Agile certified, I'm an Agile practitioner, I'm a Lean Six Sigma, I'm starting my master's in advanced manufacturing, enterprise engineers, so I'm here to change the world, <laughs> to, to, to really like Six Sigma, it's kind of like having that value stream map, understanding where's your process, having an open communication between all the processes, and bringing that value in people. Like what's the value add on the value stream app? And really focus on those value add uh, process and the non-value non add processes. Like we have machines that could do it. Like we have machines that could inspect a part. Like that's where SolidWorks come, come in play. Like we have many parts that could take a picture and we could say this one's good, this one's no good. And then instead of having people like saying, oh, this part is like a little bit off. No, we, we, that's why we have machines to have like those known value add. We're You're using SolidWorks today to design that equipment to right. validate those like tools. That's where, like that's my goal. Like we are not there yet, but that's my goal. Okay. Like, that's where I'm here for. So it's really interesting. You've used SolidWorks in, man, uh, in manufacturing, but you've had the opportunity at 3D Experience World to come and learn a lot more about what Dassault System has to offer. This right. is SolidWorks Live, but you were saying you had the opportunity to learn a lot more about Delmia while you were here as well, correct? Oh, yeah. Like Delmia, I feel like that's the, that's the future. Like everything be connected, everything be open, like between manufacturing, between customers, between all the different departments, like that will be, that's the future, like have them, them all connected in real time. And really what we do is we use SolidWorks to create different ring sizes, like different molds, different like 3D printer, you name it. That's really cool. You, so, you know, you started off the conversation <laughs> with a very bold statement. <laughs> there needs to be war, more women <laughs> in engineering, and you're absolutely right. Give us a little bit of advice. Give the women who might be watching or women who want to learn how to get involved in STEAM, young women especially, what advice could you provide for them? So like keep learning. I got an advice like never, like always reinvent the wheel. Always keep learning, always be out there. Like don't be afraid. Like there's gonna be failures, but you're gonna learn that. And that's like agile, like and like uh, Gravity was saying too, like fail faster, like two weeks, create a prototype, learn something, like next iteration, next iteration, you're gonna learn something. So keep learning, there is a SolidWorks woman in engineering, there's always something. 
Yeah, yeah. You just mentioned the uh, solid work on the SolidWorks blog. If you search for women in engineering, we're always trying to find amazing people to discuss here. <laughs> get we we're really focused here. We want more young women and women to get involved in STEAM. We think it's really important. The industry needs more people in general, but mm -hmm. different ideas as well too. So right, and SolidWorks is really a platform. I mean, it has grown so much. Like we. Like it can tell you, like if you have a mesh, like because we work with, uh, like with a lot of another programs that they are different or more organic. So whenever you bring it to SolidWorks, it's able to tell you how how off you are from the original design or from the scan that you got or from. Sure. Well, Monica, I want to thank you for joining us here today. You heard this morning we're going to be back in Nashville, Tennessee next year. Yay. Are you going to come back? You going yeah. to come next year? Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Like the atmosphere is pretty cool. You get energized. You get to meet people, amazing people. You're one of the people bringing a lot of energy to the event, <laughs> I have to say. So. Well, it's an honor to be here. Thank uh, you so much. We're so happy to have you here. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us. We're not done yet. We have a couple more things coming up. Uh, we're going to be tuning into a breakout session, one of the most favorite breakout sessions our customers have, and that's the SolidWorks Top 10. Stay tuned until the end of that because Kurt Anlicker will be presenting some what's new stuff coming in SolidWorks 2021, and then we will be wrapping up for the day after that. So stay tuned. This will be coming shortly.